welcome back dear students this interview is with dr kartika who has secured rank 1 in jipma fellowship entrance exam for gynecologic oncology many congratulations on this dr kartika thank you so much ma'am actually it's a big thanks is only to you uh, because what i read is your notes and i just followed you and completely followed you so it's a big thanks to you personally thank you so much for uh, you know for the gratitude uh let's let's discuss with you your journey to achieving this rank let's start with a little introduction where you did your ug and pg from and then how long uh, did you take to decide and then come finally clear this for entrance exam so over to you again dr kartika um, i did my ug uh, from chengalpet government college mm-hmm. in tamil nadu then i did my pg in uh, maulana azad medical college mm-hmm. new delhi Uh, i completed in uh, 2020 i completed in 2020 but after finishing uh, my post graduation actually I, w- i was not having any idea whether to go for an infertility or on for because i i actually loved obg as a whole oh, so I, i was not having any idea at that time so i didn't i was not preparing for any exams uh, during my post graduation or after that then i joined in uh, esic medical college here in uh, chennai i'm basically i'm from chennai ma'am so i joined here uh, so uh, once i started working i was exposed to more uh, on co cases in uh, esic i was exposed to both infert on co all ops cases uh, i started uh, loving working with uh, on co cases uh, doing a bit because i was assisting in many worms radical hysterectomies uh, lymph node dissections uh, paralytic lymph node dissection so i was uh, that created a lot of into actually i we used to assist with surgical oncologists we don't have any gynec oncologists there yeah. surgical oncologists so uh, dr kartik and sir used to do cases there so i used to assist a lot of cases with him and used to work up those cases so that actually developed interest in onco so i started prepar- uh, preparing by the end of 2021 it was a privilege that you were in this place where you got so much exposure Uh, to assess yes. these surgeries is also you know to be able to see those surgeries to assess those surgeries it is a good exposure for oncology that you got before your uh, fellowship already so there yes, you ma'am. developed interest and uh, then what happened how was it after that uh, then actually i i was at, uh, then i got an idea uh, that i will do some uh, either fellowship or mc since i'm basically from chennai i want to do a private practice from in chennai i want to settle in chennai yes. so i i want to do a uh, uh the fellowship or mc either from jipmer or cmc velu just i had only two option i don't want to go outside of my home town and stay somewhere like four years or five years away from my home town so my uh, junior actually uh, she told about retronit okay. then i joined retronit actually i was uh, i fell in love with your uh, class on uh, pre invasive lesions of cervix ma'am that okay. pre invasive lesions of cervix i have read many places many times but i was always confused the way you took the class you combined all those three guidelines in a single yeah. class and you compared every guidelines in each slide that was really awesome um, and then you pointed out some mistakes in foxy guidelines also uh, for us to uh, follow up and all yes. so um, even i never noticed that Uh, so I love the Ronco class a lot and your infertility classes are uh, awesome and it's uncomparable I never learned such infertility at all. I just uh, learned only spear of during my post graduation time, and in particular, sir, it was vast but uh, very helpful. It was very clear and understanding. So first, when I gave my exams in twenty twenty two, first I got rank twenty seven in NEET SSS. Twenty seven is a good rank in NEET SSS. Yeah, ma'am, but I tried only for CMC value. Uh, since I want to, I, I just had only two options: either CMC value or JIT. I was Uh, was so stick to it that I I don't want to go. Twenty seven is a good rank for most of the candidates, and they would have taken a seat at twenty seven rank. They would have got a good seat also. But since you were very sure that you wanted either Jipmer or CMC, you left that seat, right? Yes. Then that time itself, I wrote. I got Jipmer rank two. Then again, okay. Then again, I started my preparation. Again, I was uh, reading your uh, notes from me. So this was when which years NEET SS you got twenty seventh rank? Um, uh, Jan twenty twenty two. I wrote. Okay, so last year uh, you wrote. Yes, NEET SS Jan exam, where you had twenty seventh yes. rank. Yes, and that was first attempt. But it was first attempt. I was I was not of that. 
yeah i didn't prepare that much well ma'am in yes. the exam i don't know it and might be like and then you took jipmer like... where you got rank 7 that year 2020 uh, rank 2020. second so, rank two. sorry rank second rank 7 is out of uh, question you're wrong got rank 2 yeah, and i think and rank 1 was i took isha das isha yes uh, isha i yes, took her uh, interview last year ah uh, yes sir yes. then again i started uh, revising your notes again and uh, i was reading the uh, reading your notes again then i gave again neat tests in september 2022 that time i took lot of stress and uh, my rank fell down to 37 okay oh then it is a problem but still 27 37 you know doesn't make much of a difference if in two exams your ranks are not going to be exactly the same so your performance were more or less same in both the exams and then i wrote uh, aims and for aims exam also that time i gave aims i thought okay i will for just as a knowledge for extra okay. questions i gave aims i never thought the rank i it, the, i got rank 4 in aims Okay. And I message you, and I, yeah, that for range exam also, it's that for that also just your notes, ma'am. Nothing uh, apart from nothing I read apart from no, I didn't even read any uh, books and all. Just what uh, at the end of the classes you used to tell, ma'am, that uh, read from these these extra guidelines apart from your notes. So those guidelines I added up, and then again I tried Jipmer uh, this time. I got rank one. Rank one. So you've been qualifying all the exams, and then you just wanted JIPMA, so you took um, yes, this ma'am. exam and you cleared it. And, uh, many congratulations on this wonderful journey. So it was nice that you've been consistent and you've been pairing so well in all the exams. Like uh, there are students who uh, at ranks like fifteen, uh, seventeen, or twenty-seven, where they drop the seat, and next year they either get a very good rank or their rank goes to somewhere near hundred. and then they keep trying so at least you were very consistent for more than a year yes, that is something that students have to learn from that you have to decide what you want and then you have to go on working you have to do uh, you know whatever it takes to get there to get that seat that you want um, actually uh, since i did 3 years from delhi then i came and settled in chennai i felt uh, i i felt a uh, little difficult well certainly so uh, i understood that for surgical branches we need contacts uh, so i don't want to go somewhere and spend 5 years and again come and start uh, my practice in chennai so i thought okay cmc velur or jipmer will be better for my future for starting some private practice wonderful so, so you will do two years of fellowship and you will start your private practice yes ma'am in your hometown uh, All the best for all of that. Uh, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, you, Thank you so much. Future, you are definitely going to have a wonderful future. Uh, there is a shortage of gynecology oncologists all over India. As your uh, consultant was doing, it is only surgical oncologists who are doing radical hysterectomies and lymphadenectomies in almost all the cities. And I think five years later, it is going to be the oncologists, the MCH and fellows, and uh, those who are properly qualified and those who are going to pursue gynecology oncology. so wonderful and many congratulations on being a part of this upcoming branch it it definitely holds a very bright future in india uh, any tip you would want to give to students who are appearing for the next neet ss exam also uh, before the neet ss let us talk a little more about the jipmer exam jipmer when was the exam this year and this year it was on may 28 may 28 and uh, how many exams are there in a year mom uh, once a year we will have once jipmer fellowship exam, exam. But JIPA fellowship exam questions are so standard. Uh, yes, the standard yes, was high. Some standard textbooks. Yeah, it is not like NEET. It is NEET. It is completely different. Yes, NEET is a lot of basic different. questions. Ah, yes. uh, every year. Last year when I gave it, it's full of inferred questions. And I gave in September. It was full of basic, obs. basic, very basic questions. You really don't know where yeah. to read from. But JIPA and INISS, these are standard uh, exams. They yes. have standard questions. Uh, I saw the paper. There were a lot of questions on, uh, um, you know, what those research, research studies, uh, trials. Sorry, I was missing that word. Trials. There were questions on trials. So, did you specifically read trials, or you did not give much time to that? Um, or were trials, there not many questions? There were few yeah, questions. Yeah, trials. There were uh, four questions from trials itself. Now, yes. actually, when I'm uh, preparing I didn't... for NEET SS, just doesn't concentrate on the trials. No, sorry. Uh. So, yes, for Jipmer, would you suggest uh, they should specifically read for trials, and if they should, where should they read from? Mom, I didn't. They uh, are the FIGO guidelines. So, say, no, FIGO updates for uh, all CA cervix, ovarian yes. cancer. That is a good uh, shortcut for the trials. They will mention yes, all the trials. 
if you go on following uh, novax uh, sorry barrack and hackers trial there'll be a lot of trials to read from ah, yes ma'am but figo updates takes a few important uh, trials and then gives you the list so that is a good idea to read from figo updates yeah the the trials given in figo updates and actually i i used to have a a small note for last minute revision so i used to i had a separate uh, two three pages for just trials so whatever right. trials i read in figo updates and in your class if you say something i used to write there ma'am and every wise one day before the exam so because the trials are very uh, in perfect suit so the one day before yes. exam i revise yes. those trials and uh, what is the syllabus what kind of questions are asked are there basic of uh, gynecology questions obs and gynecology questions are there yeah ma'am actually totally 100 questions uh, 60 questions are uh, basic obs and gyne 40 were uh, pure uh, like core gynecology ma'am the gynecology questions okay. were so you had 60 from basic gyne obs Yes, ma'am. And then only forty from uh, oncology. Yes, ma'am. Unlike I N I S S, where about ten fifteen. It is ultra. From, it is just the opposite. Ten fifteen from uh, basics, and then sixty questions, sixty to seventy questions from uh, oncology or from the specialty that you are preparing yeah. for. The sixty right, questions that. also it was so standard, ma'am. Actually, last year Jipmer was so tough. This year it was. I felt okay. Or oh, probably you had one year of preparation, and that's why you found ah. this papers, this year's paper easier. Yeah, um, and the more the Jipna focuses more question on recent advances, and that we had uh, three questions on WHO 2021 cancer screening guidelines, and regarding the 2020 goal, uh, cancer the cervix ah, elimination yes. goal, we have questions and recent uh, vaccination. Now um, in 2022, WHO has changed the single dose okay. HPV vaccine. Have they? I haven't read that. Yeah, twenty twenty. I'll I'll yeah. update it. I think I must have updated it. If it was twenty twenty two, is it there in the class notes? If it's twenty twenty two, I must have updated it. If it's twenty twenty three, I haven't found anything. Oh, it's twenty twenty two only. Then I must have added it already. And those uh, single dose HPV vaccine, uh, those questions were there. They they are focusing more on recent advances. Even in AUB uh, recent that I read from your class that. Um, It read. They have changed the AUB guidelines yes. for the definition system, system one and system. Ah uh, yes. So everything was so recent and uh, the questions all all are recent questions. It was not old. Uh, that it was not like a old pattern. It was all recent. Well, you should be up updated. And yes, I think most of these were covered in the class already. Yes, ma'am. Yes. The Figo AUB guidelines. You are uh, WHO labor care guidelines. Yes. Everything is important. For the past two three exams, they have been asking questions from WHO labor care guide. Yes, ma'am. Uh, how many hours would you devote to reading in this one year? Were you working? Uh, yeah, ma'am. Actually, I'm working. Uh, I'm now as I'm working as assistant professor in ESAC Medical College. Uh, so my working time is nine to four. Okay. I never took any leave for my exam. Just I took. One day leave for writing an exam. That's it. Okay, and, just for uh, writing the exam you took. So on Saturday yeah, also you were working. The exam was on Sunday. You were working on Saturday. Yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, because I learned many things uh, from the cases and yes, my post graduates. Yes, because you were practicing oncology. Yes, ma'am. And my post graduates, my post graduates, they used to ask questions, and whatever I learned, I used to teach them. Because I always feel the best thing to remember something is teach others. To teach someone. Yes, of course. So I used to teach every day my post graduates. So my work, my work job gets uh, by four four thirty. I will get relieved from my job. And so as soon as I finish my job, I have, I will go to library, uh, my college library, and I'll right. sit from five o'clock to eight o'clock. So every day it was consistent. Three hours. Three hours. You would read every day. Yeah, ma'am. So I I don't have time to take notes. I didn't take notes for uh, many topics. Just for on call on, uh, I took notes from your notes. I just took notes and other Otherwise things. I from the classes. Only. Repro deep notes. Just class notes. I didn't read any books. Uh, basically, Berakan Hacker. I thought of reading for a few on call, but it was so vast. So I read it from your notes. And, and apart from that, what I have taken is from Berakan Hacker only. Yeah, it was Solid notes of Berakan Hacker. Apart from that, I read uh, Figo guidelines. Yes. Figo updates. In every exam, they ask from Figo updates whether it is. And I guidelines I that you updated in uh, Repronit group, uh, ACOG yes. guidelines, because ACOG is very difficult to download ACOG. Yes, yes, it gets. We have uploaded. Now my subscription is also. And then I'll have to think what I what is to be. So I just read from uh, those guidelines that you have updated, and at the end of the class, you used to say, "I'm like you took RPL class, and you said to read the uh, recent RPL 2020." Yes. 
I read RPL endometriosis. Apart from your notes, I read those guidelines also those guidelines for good. getting clarity. Yes, those are very few guidelines that I specified that have to be read and they are important. Um, because I can't teach everything. No, some things I, I keep doubting myself that I must have left something. So I'll tell the students that please go and read this so that you don't go in your exams. Otherwise, okay. I try to cover everything in the classes. Wonderful. So tell me a little about your family. Uh, my, uh, at this age, already have a family and a child to take care of and then how to adjust. Um, actually, I was not married. So You're that was married. actually... A That's why you had the time Sorry. from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock to read. 8 o'clock to read because my library closes at 8 o'clock so till 8 o'clock I used to read then I'll come home and that night if I get some time because most of the time I'll spend night time for preparing uh, PPT because we used to have classes for UG and PG. That's a good way of preparing you know even if you prepare PPT you copy it from here you paste it or you type it it give it's a good revision. Yes. Most of the PPTs also I prepare from your notes only ma'am. Wonderful. And I teach and the these, same thing these notes students. that you know I teach are the PPTs which I used to uh, we used to have classes during fellowship in Gangaram. So all of the infertility PPTs are almost very similar to what we had. We, there we students had to prepare it. Whatever I prepared, that is what I have been using for the classes. So infertility it really the class notes are awesome. It's really awesome. I never found. I don't know from where you read those things because I don't read any books. It was so uh, depth yes, it is a lot of guidelines. The teaching that I had at Gangaram, guidelines, textbooks, everything. You mix everything and then they become good notes where everything can be read from. Yeah, my, my mother is a housewife. Father is a civil engineer. And I have a small sister. She has done MBBS. Now she's doing her uh, PG preparation. She's doing her PG preparation. So yes, I to come to reach where yeah. you've already read. Sometimes I used to sit with her. She will be reading in another library during the Sundays or during holidays. Time. I used to go to that library. I read from morning 8 o'clock to night 8 o'clock. Okay. Yes, when yes. you had off days, you would read for 12 yes. hours. Good. Uh, it's nice to meet people who are so dedicated and consistent in their practice. And you're already an AP in a hospital. So wonderful. You're a wonderful person and... Uh, all the best of course you're going to shine uh, in your life you're going to be one of the best in your field at least in your city definitely because there are a very few oncologists in all the cities where you go actually right now there are no mch gynecologic oncologists who are practicing in the field it is only going to be after a few years so the, the next few years are going to be of the people like you who have done who have qualified who are qualified in treating in doing gynecologic oncology so it was so nice uh, speaking with you, Dr. Kartika. Uh, you'll stay in touch with me, uh, telling me what recent updates are there so that it helps Very to nice. teach the students. And stay in the group uh, so that uh, off and on, if somebody asks something which you know about, you should answer the questions in the I'm discussions sure. that we have. Uh, stay in touch with me actively all the time. And uh, it's now you will not be messaging me for help. I'll be calling you up for help uh, to take oh, reviews. That's, I feel so grateful. I feel so grateful for this. Of course, so, I'll be ringing you up for some help. Or when a junior wants your number, I'll be giving you a call. Yeah, sure. And actually, it's very uh, difficult because when you start working, uh, spending time for students is very difficult. And the way, whenever we put some questions, you reply as soon as possible. Nowadays, I'm not, me a lot. I've been keeping so busy that I don't answer nowadays. A lot of questions are there. I'll try to find time and answer all the questions. I have been I remember, uh, the last two years. Uh, one month before uh, NEET is September 2022, we were continuously posting questions in Telegram. Yes. We were, I get stressed before the exam. Every exam, it, especially NEET says I get stressed before the exam because uh, it, the, uh, the pressure is there. That last, Like last year, this year's batch should also perform well. So I get stressed and whenever there's time, I try to involve myself. Uh, before before we sign off, uh, tell me something. Uh, what tip would you, would you, we were at that and then we lateralized to somewhere else. What tip would you want to give to prepare, students who are going to prepare for the next exams? I just want to tell them that uh, first they should know uh, in which they have really interest. Because nowadays I see people, they start preparing from their post-graduation time itself. First, they should know. First, I thought during my post graduation, I thought I'm interested in infertility. Yes. But once I came out and I started working, then I felt, uh, because I used to, see, we used to give ovulation. We only used to give ovulation induction. I used to do follicular studies. I used to do IUI. 
but ultimately i found i was not interested in infertility i was actually interested in uh, doing It's cases that that happened to you before you took your entrance exam because i realized that after doing the whole fellowship and everything that this is not my calling i am not going to do infertility so i am practicing gynecology i am practicing oncology also we have been doing radical surgeries of course i'm calling an oncologist right now but still that is a plan that i should be able to do that so the least that i'm practicing nowadays is infertility so this is a very good decision that people like me should uh, good in uh, you know advice that you're giving that you have to decide give yourself time to decide which what yes, is your interest whether you yeah. want to do infertility whether you want to do fetal medicine or oncology so decide that's the most important uh, factor it took me actually 2 years ma'am to yes. just uh, find out by myself in which actually i was interested 2 yes. years and the next thing is uh, please don't quit your job or leave your job uh, yes, just to study because important. don't leave your job we learn when we practice because that is what is exactly. going to be asked in the exams how to treat yeah. the patient yeah exactly uh when i am assisting the cases i used to re- uh, revise myself okay this is anatomy operator yeah, now going yes. between external and internal and it helps this... so much to read anatomy and then to see that in yeah. the surgeries it is it is very helpful yeah so don't right. quit your job and be consistent like even the two hours reading the two hours or one hours per day it every is day. enough but you should be consistent if you are reading this two hours per day you should be consistent every day you have to read two hours per day yeah. and at last is your notes one your notes is a complete package for everything uh, mainly for aims and uh, gibmer one the aims and gibmer has a such a standard yeah, of gynae and onco questions so your notes uh, is enough because your notes is so standard because you collect all those uh, points from guidelines and if i read some guidelines it will be in your notes the same lines will be in your notes so it I is a to, it's a packaged yes i try to organize everything include everything in the notes yes. so that nothing that is organization of notes mom it was it was awesome Thank the you. way the two that infection lessons i hated infections and yes uh, even i uh, have hated yeah. infections but then yeah. when you sit at it you write it then you start liking it So whenever I read infection, I never used to read your notes. Just I used to one point five x. I used to put your video. So I used to hear. I just I close there my ears and I used to hear what and all you're saying because the the way you narrate it now that memorizes that increases my memory. I feel that increases my memory power. Wonderful. The way you narrate uh, the lines in your notes that actually increases my memory power. So I used to keep it in one point five x. Sometimes when I'm I have revised multiple times. So actually, I don't know how much time I have revised your notes, but n number of time I have revised your notes. Each and That every note. It's going notes. to be so helpful, you know. Not just those hundred questions of Jipmer. Studying so much is going to be so helpful in helping you practice. Uh, you're going to do private yes. practice, so you can't tell your student uh, patients that I only treat oncology. Ah, you will exactly. get all kinds of patients, and you have to be ready for them. so yeah. all the reading that you have done infections in pregnancy so many times revising it is going to be so helpful in your practice yeah not just the entrance yeah. exam whenever i see some patient recently also i saw some patient in toxoplasm toxoplasm so i mm-hmm. remember ma'am ma'am has told us by ramesh these things i remembered everything from your notes Wonderful. so i felt it actually very your notes are really very useful thank you so much i never joined any other classes just i joined your Coaching alone since my friend told. And also, please. students have to know that it is not a shortcut to clear your exam because it is vast. You have ah, to read. Yes, it is ma'am. just organized in one place so that you don't have to open multiple books. Everything is yes, there. Exactly. But it is still vast. Since everything is there, it is going to be vast. You have to revise also. Yes. Really, you have to finish answer. everything. You have to revise everything, and then you are ready for the exam. You have to practice MCQs also. Like uh, I, my, my way of practicing MCQs just your telegram book. No? people used to put and the questions you post in facebook i used to see those questions these are the ways of practice in mcq for me uh, because we don't have any mcq banks separate mcq banks for uh, uh, gynae so this is a way of practice in mcq so just i tell them keep in touch with your uh, subject i keep revising your notes yes. and uh, they have to listen i'm not only to uh, i just want to advise them they should not read only your notes ma'am they should uh, actually hear your video first first then video they have to the read your notes ma'am then that makes a Be- sense otherwise you'll get lost and you it'll be difficult to remember 
And for pain resolutions of cervix, I when I started uh, reading that topic, I I heard your videos thrice. Then only I went and read the notes. The notes to memorize. Yeah. So because I am a slow learner. Oh, so I, I am a slower learner. Because... I am even slower. You don't know how much time it takes for me to make those notes. And if you ask me anything, I don't remember anything. I just collect everything, make those notes. For one day, I am enlightened that I know everything about. cervical pre cancers and then the next day i will forget everything when i'm preparing for the notes same so thing really... happened to me also ma'am i used to revise your notes again again then yes. again if i want to read pre invasive i used to hear your uh, video once listen your video then again i'll go and read the notes so i have to repeatedly read multiple times Wonderful. clinical practice plus revision so your tips were very important first decide your field decide your field whether you are interested in infertility whether you are interested in oncology after practicing everything you know i believe that everyone is going to be interested in oncology if you are a surgeon if you want to be a surgeon then oncology is the field for you yes exactly uh, if i had a choice if i had to go back in time i would have definitely taken oncology so decide first decide whether you want infertility or not and there are people who are hardcore into infertility and they love infertility and the ovarian stimulation and all so you have to decide which is your interest and then second don't leave your job whatever odd jobs you're doing in obstetrics and gynecology continue with the job and then third was consistency and fourth was replicate learning notes and videos that's the tip that's wonderful uh, it was so nice having you uh, for the uh, kartika yeah I I just want to finish with uh, saying thanks. A uh, big thanks for you, ma'am. You and your notes brought me here, uh, achieve my uh, dream. Uh, the dream place, Jhumar. Uh, thanks See, a lot. You had to do this, but I am more happy because my student did did this. It was your consistency. My hard work is for everyone. You were working for yourself. You had to get this rank. But I am more happy for you. I am more grateful. I I I feel even... so proud uh, to say that I am a student of Mona, ma'am. I feel so proud. I. that i'm student of a person who spends uh, such actively spends time for us uh, 24/7 i so i feel so proud to say that i'm student of you and i achieved my dream with your help i feel really proud and i thank my mother and father and my sister dr Ash, her name is dr ashwita and um, my friend uh, dr sangameshwaran and uh, dr charumathi for continuously they were uh, they both are continuously motivating me to keep on uh, giving exams not to lose hope and i uh, big thanks to my post graduates there i have four four post graduates uh, dr shamini nandini and uh, vinodini and narmada these four people will be keep on asking me questions and they every day i used to teach them something uh, so uh, that also kept me in the track Yes. So I thank everyone at last. I thank God for introducing uh, every one of you in my life so that I achieved this. Wonderful. So you have. Um, I also want to practice like you only. My more gaina konko and a little bit ops also. Everything. I, everything. Everything I want to practice, practice as a whole. Every surgical. Man. Be ready to do every gynecology and every obstetric surgery. Plus, and Kakrita is yes, there. Sir. Be ready to do obstetric hysterectomy or whatever conservative surgery that is coming up now. Be ready. There are so many surgeons we see, uh, you know, on social media who are doing so many things. Everyone is doing everything. So let's be that kind of practitioners who are ready to do everything under the sun. Wonderful. It was so nice having you over, and it is so nice that you have got such a lovely family, lovely support of friends. Uh, wonderful. God bless you and thank you so much, Dr. Thank you. Thank you. And I am really very proud of you, Dr. Kartika. I knew you from a long time. Uh, I, you know, now I collected the dots that you had all good ranks in all the exams also. Wonderful. I never actually. I never told you that. Oh, I, I thought okay, if I bad. get, I that thought if I get because I would have uh, pestered you for the interview yeah. then only at twenty seven rank only. But I thought if I get CMC. Yes, you wanted to give the interview when you had the seat that you wanted. Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. It was so nice to have you over, Dr. Kartika. This interview is not going to end if we don't end it already now. Uh, it was a pleasure talking to you.